So, we've been tasked with creating a short sequence in Unreal Engine using realistic versions of ourselves as the characters. Well, here at CERT, we've got a few tools that'll help us get there. If we want realistic looking characters, we're first going to have to scan ourselves into the computer and upload us into the matrix. Or at least capture our likeness as a static mesh. To achieve this, we're going to use what's called photogrammetry. This is the process of taking hundreds of photos and stitching them together to create 3D assets that we can then use in Unreal Engine. Introducing the Esper Rig. A geodesic dome with solid aluminum construction houses 156 multi-flash lights and 72 mounted DSLR cameras. This paparazzi party ball is capable of capturing over 200 images in 6.8 seconds. With this apparatus, we'll be able to take 360 degree pictures of our heads to give ourselves the most accurate 3D models the world has ever seen. Oh, and you need one of these. Ball cap? Yeah. Wouldn't it capture my hair like any other part of my head? Or... Trust me, you'll need it. We start by powering on the rig and opening the Esper controller software. Next, manually switch on all 72 Canon cameras. After the subject enters the cage, we ensure that they are in frame and in focus, looking straight ahead with a neutral face expression. Why is that? You'll see why. We'll compare the results with your goofy expression. Van, what would we do without the Esper rig? Probably use a mobile photogrammetry app to capture our scans. So you're telling me that I can use my phone instead of that giant disco ball? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, the Esper rig is going to capture better quality pictures in a variety of lighting conditions, but Polycam actually gets the job done too. Here, come on, I'll show you. Sure, now you tell me. With Polycam, we'll have our subjects sit just as they would in the Esper rig, staring straight ahead with a neutral face. Yep, just like that. Now we'll hit record and move around the subject while it automatically captures our images. Okay, so now that we've gotten our photo scans, we can bring them into the computer, turn them into static meshes, and then bring that into Unreal Engine to then create our metahumans. Sounds Let's do good. it. Yep. Let's do it.